suppose everybody's listening and nobody's sending. Um, gee, it's not very likely that we can succeed in that case, is it? So people often ask, shouldn't we be sending out signals because we expect them to be? And that would be a good argument if you expected that there was symmetry between them and us. It's not likely that the other technology and Earth technology are at the same point in time. We're about the youngest technology that can exist in the galaxy and be detectable over interstellar distances. Any other technology that we can detect is going to be older than we are. And therefore, you put the more difficult job on the older, more capable, advanced technology. And you listen first. As you're growing up, you first listen. Then you can take on the job of transmitting. It's much harder. Now, admittedly, we're leaking our television and radio signals all the time. But for purposeful transmission, you'd like to get some global consensus that yes, we should transmit, and this is what we're going to say, and this is who's going to say it, and this will represent Earth. Well, that's really hard to do. We, we don't have any global organizations that can assist us in this way. And then if you decide to transmit, you have to think really long term. Transmit for a year and stop, very unlikely that someone else out there will be looking at you in exactly the right time that the transmission washes over them in exactly the right way. So transmission's a long-term strategy. And humans aren't really good at that yet. We've got some growing up to do.